Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin Daily Update. We will see that we reached our most important target and we want to make the 35,000 Tether USD as a support level you can check the yesterday's video. It is very, very important. Of course, don't forget to join our monthly subscription. Link is in the description down below, guys. You can cancel anytime you like, but you get tons of benefits, automated signal buying opportunities and personal guidance, videos and many, many more. Join in right now. Also, the limit is 50 people, guys, because I don't have the time for more. And you can join our Telegram group chat. Link is in the description down below as well. Like and subscribe if you like the content. Let's go now to the Bitcoin and to see some ma major important things. First of all, guys, why are we correcting right here? There are two reasons we can identify, right? Or many more, but for the moment we have the commodity channel index in an overbought situation. You can see here we are above the 100, right? When we are having that, it is not necessary that we are seeing a correction, right? Because commodity channel index can move even further above, right? But we have an overbought situation, therefore we have a high risk. And that's why now we found a little bit over resistance for now at 35,000 USD. What is our goal right here? Right now, it is our goal to make it the support level, to make the 35,000 Tether USD the support level. And you can see that the week of distribution is playing all along in all of the channels, right? That we found a bottom right here, double bottom, and now we are going all the way upwards, right? Now we are going into the other phase where we are seeing the week of accumulation, right? So therefore, you can see that it is playing all alone. Personally, guys, I am cautiously optimistic. I won't say that we can't have a significant swing high. I'm just saying that we can't approach the all-time highs before going to 26 to 27,000 Tether USD. That's my personal opinion. However, guys, now we are looking good, right? Let's take it step by step. We are looking good. Actually, if we can make the 35,000 Tether USD uh, a support level, we will be looking incredibly good. For now, as long as we don't make that a support level, we will assume that we are a bit uh, cautiously optimistic, right? Because it is very, very, um, it is very, very, guys, uh, necessary. It is necessary actually to make the 35,000 USD as a support level to break this previous high. Because this will mean, guys, that we will start be making higher highs and higher lows. We will break the previous high target. And when this happens, we can even go to our next target, the 36,500 or to the other next target, 38,700 Tether USD around in there, right? So it is very, very important to go to the and make the 35,000 as a support level. Another reason we are correcting right now, guys, is the 20-day MA at the daily frame. You can see that we are finding resistance in this yellow line, the 20-day EMA. And what we want to see here for Bitcoin, we want eventually to make this the 20 day MA support level. And even if we can go above the 50 day EMA, because you can see we haven't gone above the 50 day MA since the last time on 9th May, where we saw almost the 59,500. Then we went all the way down, crossing, and now we want to see whether we can have a swing high for now on. And breaking the 35,000 Tether USD and especially making the 50-day EMA as a support level will indicate that we are going even, even higher. We will have that week of accumulation, although I don't believe that we are going to go in the previous all-time high so easily for Bitcoin, guys. And I don't believe that because I believe that we are going to 26,500 or so. I, we have gone, our lowest point here is the 28,800, right? And of course, I want to be mistaken, right? I want actually to uh, for Bitcoin to go all the way into a previous all-time high. That's what I want, guys. It will be the best for most of us. But personally, I don't feel like even if we have a swing high to 38,700, to 42, or maybe even more, guys, to 46,000 USD around in here, 
Personally, guys, I don't believe that we are going to previous all-time highs soon, right? So we want to be a little bit cautiously optimistic. And for now, for the short term, we want to make the 35,000 Tether USD as a support level. We can't do it, of course, actually, guys. The RSI is not in an overbought situation. The, uh, let's see a little bit the stochastic RSI. The stochastic RSI, guys, is in an overbought situation near the one near the 100 or the 1. When it is at the 100, you can see that this is the highest it can go. And then we are correcting a little bit, right? So therefore, we have an extremely overbought situation right here because of the Komodo Channel Index, the stochastic RSI. But the RSI is not in an overbought situation. What this means, guys, is that even if we fall down, let's say we correct a little bit and fall to 33,600, we will be going upwards and we have room to grow. If we see the daily frame, guys, we have room to grow as well. You can see the Komodo Channel Index and you can see the one thing that I like. I liked before the pattern that I liked for Bitcoin. We had higher lows for the Komodo Channel Index and lower lows for the price. This means, guys, that we went upwards because you can see the lowest point. We didn't found it when we were having the 28,800. The lowest point we achieved by this bearish candle right here at 31,000. And then our next low was achieved on 25 June, guys, in this candle right here. Before our low was achieved in 21st June, sorry, 21st June in this bearish candle. So we had lower lows, lower lows, right? And higher lows for the common channel index. When you are seeing that, guys, it is a bullish thing, right? It is something that will give the price momentum. And you can see again on the six hour frame, we had formed a hammer candle right here. So eventually we expected Bitcoin to grow even more. So for now, that is our next target, guys. Even if we correct, it is all right as long as we remain above the 32,500. If we go all the way down again, then things aren't looking so good, but we still have the momentum of going even higher than 35,000 USD to the next price target, 36,500 and 38,700 for the short term, the first one, and for the short mid term, the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. If you like the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you again. See you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.